preliminary 75 hard. I'm going to start phase one as soon as I get back. And that just lasts for 30 days. Yeah, well, it's good. It's down a program. I will have to warn you now, and I'm going to hold myself accountable on the show. Uh, Spartan just released and reannounced the world championships, not only in Greece, Whoa. which I had my sight set on doing a trifecta championship in Greece. They are also doing the world championships in Dubai. Uh, they're confident enough that things are going to wash over and there's, there's going to be some ability to travel. They've changed the rules so that the qualification is a little bit easier, knowing that we're five months into the season. So that's exciting because it plays off of performance from last year. And I know both my wife and I uh, qualified for elite. So uh, anyways, I'm calling myself out right now that I've got some goals that I need to consider or some objectives out there down the road. And uh, that's big. That means I'm going to have to get my training up. You plan on doing both of those? Well, uh, I want to talk to my wife about it. I want to go to one or the other, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I want to go to one or the other. And the reason why I'm even bringing it up on the show is because I think when we throw things out there in the universe, it holds us accountable. And um, oh, you should have never told me. I'm writing this down <laughs> right now. Well, you know, I want to encourage other people to pick lofty goals. You know, here we are. We've been locked down for 40 days, and I'm talking about racing in November and December or somewhere else in the world. You know, so not only am I putting out positive thoughts for the uh, the state of the world at that time, but also positive energy to get my workout on. And um, I'd love to hear from anybody that's got a workout plan or has got some lofty goals. Any Spartan racers that are listening to the show. Uh, what your thoughts are as far as the season and, and how you might uh, continue on the year once we get out of COVID. Um, kind of exciting, kind of exciting. It's a, like a restart, recharge. That's a big recharge right yeah. out the gate. That's, That's right. That's how I'm doing it. Well, well you were going to come back. What, the, the, I know a lot of the Spartan races have been canceled, but we were signed up. We were both signed up for the one in May here in uh, Big Fork. That would have been this last weekend. Right. We would have still been sore from it today. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you weren't going to go in any easier. You had shoulder surgery in November, and you were starting off with an ultra, you know, not humping your leg here, but that's lofty right out the gate. Yeah, well, okay, so here's another learning experience for everybody out there that I had this week. I did have, I had shoulder surgery on November 4th, 2019. Went to rehab. I got. I was very serious about my rehab. I went uh, two days a week, tapered that back as the doctor said I could taper it back, and did all the exercises. Stayed disciplined. Didn't overdo it. As as I followed him to the T, and I went in uh, Monday yesterday. Right. Six months later, and uh, I got my checkup. Doctor says you're hundred percent. He goes, you are in better shape than most people could ever dream to be after shoulder surgery. And Perfect. I was telling him, uh, of course, you and our other neighbor, neighbor Kyle, talked me into buying that that brand new bow. For well, some... you went big boy. <laughs> you went top of the line, big boy. Well, uh, hey, shout out to Bowtech. I got the new the new model out there, Bowtech bows. So thank you, Bowtech. Um, but no, I was telling him I, I was pulling that bow back at 55 pounds. He's like, I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. So, yeah. anyways, I, I'm excited about that. So, the learning is if, you, if you've had shoulder surgery, and it's amazing how many people have had shoulder surgery, they're still suffering years later. Oh, yeah. I had shoulder surgery in 2014, December 23rd, 2014. And um, you didn't do the rehab. I didn't do the rehab. I, I, I've been rehabbing my shoulder. I rehabbed it all through the 75 Hard program. And uh, now it finally feels great. It feels really good, a lot better than it's ever felt. But, you know, I'm, I'm six years late. Yeah, well, rehab is there for a reason. And what my doctor told me, said, if you don't rehab it correctly and stay after it, you will be back to me in three years. And you'll be trying to complain about how terrible your surgeon was. It has nothing to do with your surgeon. It has to do with the rehab. So, I, was, I was that guy. Yeah, well, now you know. Yeah. Well, look, uh, I think we covered our topics, reconnecting with people. It's important. Using this time to reconnect or reaching out to people that you haven't talked to in a while. I think that there's probably tremendous value in doing that. There's probably people out there that need to hear from you, could use a positive voice in their heads, and uh, I would really encourage you to do that. Shop small businesses if you can. Um, you know, gosh, so many businesses come to mind. I, I've got a, a good friend that I work with. His name is John. He works for Terrible Herps Gas Stations. You know, there is a lot of gas stations that they own, but they're still a small business. They're yeah. owned by a family. They work their butts off. They put out a great product. They have some of the ga best gas stations I've ever been to from a service perspective. So, um, you know, this, this is worldwide. But, you know, in your own areas, shop small business when you can. Make a difference. And um, I just think as we get back to normalcy, um, 
look for ways that you can self-improve and do things differently and be a better person, add value to people's lives. Don't forget that if you take the time to be grateful in the morning, you're going to start your day off right. Hey. There we go. Yeah. There's the timer. <laughs> hey, right on, Jim. Froggy, thanks for having me, bro. Do it again next week. That's right. All right. Live life driven. Could be larger than